<laughs> this is probably going to be a little bit of a different um, video. I tried a, a sample of a Chanel cream. I think it's made my face white. I think. Anyways. Um, so this is going to be sort of like a, uh, a travel vlog. One thing that I have discovered is that I think I've watched video after video after video about packing light, being able to travel with a carry on, um, and all of that. And I think a lot of those people, I'm not going to say they were lying, but I think a lot of those people are dreaming. <laughs> because I've been trying it. So I actually have no idea how long this is going to be, but I'm going to actually just start with my hair care. And the house is a mess because I have like piles of clothes and suitcases all over the place. Yeah, I guess that's what happens when you're um, going on a journey. And I'm super excited, but I'm also super nervous. So I'm going to start with my hair care because even though I plan on bringing you know, um, some toppers. I probably will bring my, hopefully I'll have room for all this, but I probably will bring my favorite wig. I have two favorite wigs. I'll probably bring those. Um, but I have a lot of my hair care because I plan on just going with my bio hair as much as possible. So not that I like my bio hair, but it's what I got. <laughs> So I'm going to share with you what I've been doing and how I've been decanting my, um, you know, my, my, my hair care. Basically, I, I have absolutely loved these leak proof locks. I bought them off of Amazon. They, they work amazing. I have a couple of different sizes for different, you know, containers. And I also have bought a bunch of these plastic they're reusable, you can wash them, um, you can put your skincare if you want, whatever you want in here. Um, but I'm only starting with my hair care right now. And I've, I already know that I have to, I have to weed it out. Yeah. So yeah, a little bit of a different blog. Probably when I'm done this video, when I'm finally done showing you, uh, and I'm just gonna be dealing with the skincare in this video and the hair care. I don't think I'm going to go into um, any of the clothes yet um, because I'm waiting for two things to arrive and I have to return two things to Chico's. I can't believe it. That I had bought these really pretty tops. I really like them. They're square necked and, you know, three quarter sleeves and goes like a little bit below your elbow. I thought they'd be perfect. I bought an off white one and I bought a navy, a dark navy. But they are so stinking heavy. I'm returning them because they're too heavy. They're not too heavy on me. They're too heavy for me to pack in my suitcase. They are really, really heavy. And the things that I need to pack is light stuff. I found a brand, um, is it Habitat? Something like that, Habitat? I found a brand, anyways, very pricey brand, but I had bought a white top. Very, very lightweight, packs well so far. I mean, I don't know if I packed it, but I folded it up and I brought it from the RV to the house and stuff like that. Um, so that type of a weight, I think will be perfect because what happens with these European flights that I'm going to be on is they weigh you. They, no, they, God, they don't weigh me, but they weigh your luggage, your hand, your carry-ons. They, they are very, very strict on the size of your carry-ons and they weigh it. And I ended up buying um, a new carry-on bags and then I, I returned them because everyone said, base it on the smallest size of your European flights because they're the ones that are either going to check your luggage or fine you or make you pay like a hundred bucks for this little thing. Um, and don't, don't base it on your U S flight. So, and that to me is like, I think that's such a ripoff because I paid for my airline ticket from Delta and Delta to Germany right now. They have to stop in Amsterdam and I have to connect to a partner flight, which it's okay, but I would think that partner flight should should basically have the same requirements as my Delta flight. Like, what if I end up checking a lug, piece of luggage in Delta, right? I get, I think I get one free checked luggage, and um, and then when I get on that other plane, what happens then? So I've tried to call Delta a couple of times, and they, they've been pretty pretty good, 
but I think I've called them at the busiest time. So tonight, hopefully, um, I will remember in about 10 or 11 o'clock Eastern Standard, I'm going to call them because I know then I'll be able to get a person. And I just want to ask that question. I'm not planning on checking a bag, but I am also stressed about all the stuff I've got to bring for 19 days. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you some of <clears throat> my hair care only. And I'm, I'm waiting for um, either a travel size of my hot sets or a I'm going to find an empty container to decanted in because it's just too big. So I'll show you what I got going so far. And again, this is a vlog, so I will be picking it up and maybe on different days showing you different things and hopefully my house will be better organized. I've got clothes hanging literally everywhere. You know, when I'm thinking about, you know, what do I want to bring? I got my I got a raincoat, then I have my jean jacket, and then I have a, a like a sweatshirt, you know, a hoodie that you zip up. And I'm like Oh my gosh. And then I have a black, more dressier sweater. It's thin weight, but there's no way I'm going to fit it all. So I'm starting with my hair care. Because, you know, my bio hair is awful. It's awful. <laughs> so this, this mess is sort of the start of my essentials. And I'm putting them on here because I'm, I've weeded some out, but, and I've also decanted a lot. I know that I have to have my sculpting gel. Um, this is for my hair. I, I am bringing cream rinse. I am bringing shampoo that I like. I love using these plastic. They, they, let me show you an empty one. They have a wide you know, opening so that you can wash these out, reuse them if you want. I tend to use these at the gym as well because it takes up less space. So I just wrote what's in here with a magic marker, one of those um, ones that don't come off. But you certainly can put a tag on there or something, whatever. But for me, it's no big deal. But anyway, so my hair, my shampoo I'm going on a, the, we've got the, the boat cruise, we have a couple of hotel stays, so I know I'm going to have some, at least on the boat cruise, I'm going to have some shampoos and stuff like that. It's a Viking cruise and they usually give you, you know, body wash and stuff like that and shampoos and, and things of that nature. And then the hotels are in Europe, some, it's hit or miss. I've been told some do, some don't. So I am bringing enough in the event that I do not have the ability to, you know, to have shampoo. I'm bringing enough that I can at least wash my hair probably too many times, actually. I probably could have gotten away with a smaller one. But this shampoo will, this will last me. This is my really nice shampoo that I like, but this will last me. I would, I'm guessing at a maybe about eight washes, eight shampoos, and then the cream rinse. I use a lot of that, the conditioner, I should say. So, you know, I'm thinking this is enough for eight. Um, the sculpting gel is a styling product that I use on my, my wet hair when I style it. So those three, I don't want to have to, everyone says, oh, you know, don't pack it. You can buy stuff. I don't want to have to deal with that. I also decanted some of my hairspray. I just use Saab. I don't use expensive hairspray. So I decanted some of that into a little smaller spray bottle. I am for sure bringing uh, a little bit of um, Topic. I don't know if this is going to zoom in or not. You know, hair powder, you know, to, to cover the grays and cover the lighter spots. I'm definitely bringing my big sexy hair. I do. I don't go anywhere without this stuff. So I, I need to have room for that. Dry shampoo. I need to bring. I also love, 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 love my Kendra. Um, this is the the twenty five Kendra. Uh, twenty five. It's the volume spray. Sorry, I don't, my camera's focusing. So I like that a lot. I also. Um, I'm going to decant this. My thermal spray 
This is for when I use my curling iron. So this is going to be decanted. And I am not too sure. I probably will not bring this. Although I do like it. It's a mousse. But I probably will not bring this. So, yeah. I'm just dealing with my hair right now. I do have, you know, stuff up here for my face. And, you know, some of the things that I'm using. But right now, I'm just trying to figure out. You know, if I find another spray bottle like this or buy another one, I definitely do not want to bring a big thing of this. This is too big anyways. I think it's too big. Um, so, but I definitely need that. And then this, um, oh my gosh, I've had, this is in light brown. I have had this for so, so long and I really, I really like it. Let me open it up. Okay, so we opened it up. This is light brown. This is a root touch-up, you know, or, or something of that nature. You can touch up your grays, your roots, or whatever. But this is light, light, light brown. And this is Madison Reed. Really awesome. I've used this for quite a while. I love it. I would most definitely buy it again. I'm thinking of actually buying a dark brown. This is actually my little tiny itty-bitty... <laughs> In compliance, actually, this is pretty cool. It's called um, Max Light, and it is the suitcase itself is really, really light, and it's also small, and <laughs> which I'm not too, too crazy about, but um, it does meet the requirements of the airline. And I do like Travel Pro. I've had Travel Pro bags before. And they are pretty cool. So the dimensions. Oh, look at my toes hanging out there. And my weights. Um, now the dimensions aren't listed here. But they are on the website. And then this is my little. Not that it really matches. But this, but this is my little uh, backpack. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's my backpack. That's my roll-on. And this, this, this is one of those little collapsible day packs that um, opens up into a backpack. Like, so if you're walking around town, you think I got something going on with the purples and the mauves or whatever. Look at my weights over there. And then these are my compression packs that I have. Oh, gosh. Let me open that up a little. Compression packs. I have four of them. I actually have the smallest one loaded up right now with my undies. And this is Jay's. Is the exact same roll on as me, the exact same backpack, but it's a gray and black. <sighs> I don't know. Well, I'm actually pretty happy about this because I have decanted my hut shot sauce, as I call it, hut spray or whatever, um, into this little tiny empty black spray bottle. I cleaned it out really good. The only thing is I can't mark it. So I'm just going to have to remember that this is my hot sets. It's got the yellow thing on. And so now that means that in this container, I have everything except for, I'm not bringing this. I decided not to bring the mousse. And so the only thing I, and I'm, I'm making a list, right? So that I'm putting in here. So I know what's in here and, um, I have my face wash in there and I have my makeup setting spray in there. I still need to add my skincare, my vitamin C, my peptides, and a little bit of foundation and some sunblock. Now, these are not even going to go in there because I got the timeless, um, the travel one. So that they're going to go into my dry bag here. <laughs> the stuff that's dry, right? That's where they're going to go. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Anyways, um, why does this look blurry on my end? Huh. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I'm making I'm making progress. I am making progress. I know it's hard to believe, but I am definitely making progress. <laughs> now I'm going shopping so I can buy more stuff. So I'm super psyched because my timeless travel one dose skincare serum pouches came in. I had ordered it. They've got they've got a really good sale going on, but um, 
I didn't even know these existed, to be honest with you. And then I saw them being advertised and I said, oh my gosh. So I got the travel pouches and you get like a month's supply when you buy this little box. And um, I ended up getting the 20% vitamin C. Oh, I almost dropped it. Vitamin C um, plus E and uh, ferulic acid. And each of these is like one serving. These are TSA friendly. I do not believe, although I still have to look into it, that they will need to go into my uh, one quart liquid bag that I have to, you know, share. I think this can just go into my regular, I'm not doing check luggage, so I think it can just go into my regular bag. But, you know, I've got a one month supply here. I'm not taking all of it, obviously, but I, um, I want to have enough so I can be somewhat consistent on my skincare. And the other one that I got is the pouches of the, um, the Q10 serum which I really like. Um, the q Tem Ken Serum is, it has um, Matrixyl 3000 and Hyaluronic Acid in it. Um, anyway, so I got the same thing. These are one, you know, one use pouches and you get a month's supply. And with the sale going on, especially when you can hit the 50% off, it's really amazing. And then I, I got the regular Hyaluronic Acid Serum, um, this is different. This is hyaluronic acid serum. It has metrixyl, also has vitamin C. So I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to really figure this out, whether or not I would need to bring this because, or, you know, I don't think this will replace my vitamin C because I do like to, to use that. So I'm probably going to pack um, maybe maybe uh, 10 of of that and then like maybe 15 of my my vitamin C. This is what I have left in my bag, my liquids bag. And in here I have all of my um, hair care that I shared earlier. I've decanted everything. I do have this hand cream, which I believe I'm gonna bring. I have one thing of sunblock here. This is the 50 SPF sh Shishado BB sunblock. I, I like that. So it plays nice with my skin. And um, then I'm going to still have to, I still want to decant this. This is the Peaches Perfecting Polish. I like this because it's like an exfoliation, but it's super gentle. So I'm going to decant some of this and just put it into one of my little small containers so I can have some of it with me. I have decanted, let me show you what I did. You're going to crack up. Um, I have decanted my foundation. So I went and I got color matched um, at Lancome and Lancome obviously gives you a little bit of a, they say it's 10 days. This, I don't think it's 10 days. But so I have um, Lancome right in here. I have my, my regular um, Estee Lauder in here. And then these two, one of, one of this is, um, Lady Gaga, I can't, I can never think of the name of it. And the other is my, you know, so anyways, the four little tiny containers of foundation. This might be overkill, especially if the reality is that one of these little things will get me 10 days of application, but I'm going to, I feel okay with this. It's so tiny. I'm probably going to, just to make sure I've got it closed really good, but I'd probably put it in one of these little pouches just to give it a little bit more security. And then I also have um, a couple of face oils. So this, this one here is the marula oil that I can use on my face and on my hair. And this is the uh, little bit of the, um, oh my gosh, this stinks getting old because you forget, right? Um, rosehip seed oil. Oh my gosh, so just a little bit of the rosehip seed oil. So these will go into my travel thing. And even with my makeup in there, I still have, I still have one, you know, that I can uh, put something else in there if I really need. But I think I'll be okay because I will decant this and, you know, put some of that in there. And then um, I have another thing of, um, of um, sunblock, but it's up in the RV. It's color science and I love that. So I'll have room for that. So I'll have my, both my sunblocks. And I think that these... Even if I have to stick them in the liquids bag here, 
I'll have enough room, you know, because they're so tiny. So I'm so excited that these came in because that means that in this little bag, I have all of my hair care, my shampoo, my cream rinse. I have dry shampoo in here. That's the, the biggest thing, you know, because I can't decant that. So I have my dry shampoo. I have my Kenra 25. I think I shared this with you before. I love, love, love this, the volume on me. And then I have um, just regular that I did um, hairspray, just the ready, regular cheap hairspray. I have that in there. Um, and I have, what else do I have in here? Something else in here for my hair, and I can't can't find it. But, um, yeah, I've got, you know, I've got a number of different, you know, different things in here that are really good. Oh, this is the other thing for my hair. Um, this is my headsets. I put it in a small spray bottle, and I put it in here. So my headsets is something that if I was going to use my curling iron, I'd spray my hair with that. So I'm like, I'm like psyched that I have. All of this in here now for my skincare I have my CeraVe that I'm going to use CeraVe or whatever you want to call it um, so I have my my cleanser I also have a setting spray you know for my makeup that I'm going to put that I have in here and, um, and I think I think that's all I have actually for skincare other than my timeless pouches and my oils so uh, if I forget something, I forget it, right? And I, there's stores. So I just don't want to have to buy a bunch of stuff that I already have. If I can decant it, make it small, bring it, and be okay. I also can utilize some of Jay's because we each get the one quad carry-on um, for liquids. I can use some of his if I run out of space. Although, I don't want to do that. I, I told them I wasn't going to bring much skincare and all that. So, my makeup, my foundation is the only thing that um, that I really have to, to worry about. Um, and that's, I've decanted that into those little tiny small things. The rest of it, the powders. Oh, I might have to put my mascara in here. I'm not sure. But the rest of it, my eyeshadow, my eyeliner, my eyebrow pencil, all of that, my blush, everything is is like powder you know type of thing so I don't have to worry about putting that in here and um, my setting spray is here so I could you know, set my makeup when I'm done and yeah so I I've done really good with this to think that my hair care and skin care and some of my makeup is all going to be in here in this little thing I I'm totally I'm I'm like beyond shocked <laughs> I can't, I can't really believe it. So uh, on my head, I'm just going to, I'm just going to say this on my head. I have, a, it's a beautiful, beautiful wig. It's, um, it's from the Beltress City Collection. And I love this. And I wanted this color so bad. This is Camel Blonde Rooted. I wanted this color. I wanted to see this color. I thought this would be a perfect color for me. And it's just too warm. It's too, uh, it may not look bad in the camera, but for me, it's just too, um, too reddish, too warm or whatever. I look better, I think, in a cooler blonde and, or a brunette that's cooler. So um, I love this wig. I've worn it a couple of times. Um, I love the style of it. It's so sassy. You know, I love that. So this is Los Angeles. City Collection Beltrus, um, new release the beginning of the year, was it? Or the tail end of last year, I can't remember. In Camel Blonde Rooted. And I probably am going to sell this because it is just, it's just a little bit too warm for me. So that's, that's it for this video, right? Because I think it's getting super long. Um, I will... I will share in my next um, video, I, I'll show some of the outfits that I plan, I'm planning on bringing. And then, of course, I've got, to, I've got my compression bags. I'm going to have to pack them, and then I can weigh something. You know, I've got a scale to weigh it. 
Uh, but the heavy things that I'm bringing, I've got to bring an umbrella that, even though it's travel size, it's heavy because it's made to withstand the wind and stuff like that. And I have a little travel size binoculars because when we're on the boat, there'll be some days where we're cruising and there are beautiful views uh, as we're going on, you know, past towns where there are castles and stuff like that. That's just going to be amazing. So I, I had gotten a little set of travel binoculars. I'm going to need them because we are planning to go to Alaska next year in 2025 so I'm going to need them for that anyway so um but I thought they'd be perfect for you know seeing stuff like that but um yeah the clock's a ticking you know the clock's a ticking so after this video I um Hmm. I probably do if I'm packing I'll show my outfits I was thinking of doing a little try on but I, I don't know I don't I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that um, I do have to try everything on because I still have to, I have to decide um, what not to bring because <laughs> I can't bring too much, right? But I have these, um, I've been, I've been shopping in Old Navy. I don't know, do any of you shop in Old Navy? So there are some really good, I think, bargains in decent quality, maybe not top, top quality, but decent quality clothing that you can get at Old, Old Navy. That's super stylish. So I, I got a pair of, um, they're black, they're a linen blend, they're not full linen blend, they're not full linen, but they're a linen blend, and reviews I've read, they travel well, um, they they hold up really well and stuff like that, and so I, they're loose, they're baggy. I may, may, perhaps I should have gotten a smaller size, I don't know, but I like them loose on me, but they are a loose wide leg trouser style, so I have that in black. And then I get another pair of pants, um, a trouser style, but they are, um, they're, they're sort of a, um, a maroony color. And, um, and I really, I mean, I really like them. So I wanted to have a couple of pairs of pants that I could, that look different, because I didn't want to look like I was wearing the same pair of pants for all 19 days, right? So I've got the black trouser pants, I've got my joggers, I've got a pair of a gray, kind of like a denim -y thing, but they're not denim, um, and they're very casual pants that I've had forever. So I've got that, and I've got the maroon one, and then I have a, it's sort of like a gray, it's like a greenish, um, it's really cool pair of pants. So I've got like four different colored pants you know, three of them that would be appropriate for me to go into a restaurant at night in, um, you know, and be somewhere dressing or wear it during the day with my my sneakers or something like that and begin very well dressed down. So I have those three different colors. Um, the joggers are black. Uh, my bike pants that I'm bringing are black. So, uh, you know, then I'm just going to be looking at what do I want? I really want to bring a pair of jeans. I don't want to wear them on the flight because it's such a long flight, but I do want to bring a pair of jeans. But, you know, I don't know. And then I've got my tops, right? So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to try everything on. And I just, I don't know if I should film it, if it'd be boring, but I might, maybe I'll film it, but maybe I'll never use it. <laughs> but yeah. So anyways, Thanks so much for watching this video. Um, my next video will be probably continuation of my my packing. I'll show you what I have in my essentials bag that's not liquids, you know, uh, because there are things that um, I don't have one in here, I don't think. Yeah, we do. There are things that you can get um, when you're traveling light that are super helpful like this bounce instant static remover is also a wrinkle releaser great reviews you spray it on something that might be wrinkled you hang it in a bathroom or something like that you you can run the shower for steaming if you want but if you spray it on on whatever the wrinkled item is it releases those wrinkles and it may not be perfect like if you ironed it but what a cool cool thing so I really you know really like that I've got that packed in Jay's bag and then, you know, tied sticks for stains and then the, the wash ones. So, oh gosh, this is going to be such an adventure. Such an adventure. I know. I'm, I'm like, whew. So I've got my essentials. And then the next thing is going to be the technology, right? Um, you know, what am I going to bring for technology? And 
And then I only got a stinking little carry-on and a stinking little uh, backpack. So, anyways, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing the clothes. I I'm going to just hold them up and show them anyways, probably when I pack them. But if you'd be interested in seeing them on me, I mean, I I'm not a model. You know, I got a lot of weight to lose and, you know, my body is far from perfect. So it's not like I'm going to be stuck my stuff. <laughs> but... Anyways, let me know. And uh, thank you so much for all your support. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.